Okay, so um, here's a little video to help you guys with the special right triangle tricks that we talked about in class. Um, so here is a 45-45-90 um, right triangle. And um, we talked about tricks, how to know if I gave you um, one of the legs, how to find the other leg, that's easy, it's the same. And how to find the hypotenuse, or if I gave you the hypotenuse, how to go back to a leg, how to find the measure of a leg, okay? So let's just talk about the quick tricks. Um, to go from leg to hypotenuse, we talked about how that's really easy. And it's just simply multiply by root 2. So whatever this number is, it's just the hypotenuse is always this number times root 2. It was very, very, very easy, okay? And um, then we talked about how do you go from hypotenuse to leg. And this was the one that was a little more difficult. So I'm going to make a nice big arrow here coming from hypotenuse to the leg. Now clearly, does it matter which leg we go to? No, because the legs are the same. So to do this, okay, you are going to divide by 2 and then multiply multiply by root 2. Okay, so those are the things we talked about. So to go from um, leg to hypotenuse, you just multiply the leg by root 2. And to go from hypotenuse down to the leg, you just divide the number by the hypotenuse by 2 and then multiply by root 2. Okay, so let's try a couple examples. I want you to find x and y. So in this case right here, x is very easy to find, right? Because one leg is 7, so that means the other leg must be 7. Okay? And now we want to find the hypotenuse. So we're going to look back to our little tricks that we have here, okay? And we have a leg. We want to go to hypotenuse. So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to multiply by root 2. So y is just simply going to be 7 times root 2. And that's it. Those are our answers for that one. Okay? So now let's try this one really quickly. So now instead of having a leg, oops, we have um, the hypotenuse. Okay? So clearly this is a 45, 45, 90 because that's what we're dealing with. Um, so now I say, okay, I have hypotenuse. How do I go to leg? So I look at my little trick here. Okay, so here's the arrow from hypotenuse to leg. Okay, and this tells me to divide by 2, multiply by root 2. Okay, so that means that x is going to equal 20 divided by 2 and then times root 2. So x is going to equal 20 divided by 2 is 10 root 2. But then how do we get y? Well, because this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, we know that x and y are the same thing. So if x is 10 root 2, then y is 10 root 2. And that's it. So just practice, 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 make up your own numbers, make sure you can do it, and then you'll do great on the test. Okay, so now we're going to talk about 30, 60, 90, okay? So let me just put that here. Okay. So um, we talked about the tricks if we're given, you know, the short leg, how do we find the long leg, how do we find the hypotenuse, or if we're given the hypotenuse, how do we get the short leg, the long leg, and every possible combination, okay? So let's start first with if we're given the short leg, how do we move to hypotenuse and how do we move to long leg, okay? So we talked about moving to hypotenuse, from short leg to hypotenuse, we just multiply by 2. Okay, so we just double it. So whatever the short leg is, the hypotenuse is double that. Okay, so multiply, multiply by two. Okay, um, to move from the short leg to the long leg was also pretty easy. Okay, we just multiply by root three. Okay, so let me see here. Multiply by root three. Okay, so whatever the short leg is, you just to get to the long leg, you just multiply that number by root 3, okay? Um, now, let's say we are going to be going from hypotenuse to short leg, okay? So now we're going from hypotenuse to short leg. How do we do that? Okay? Going from hypotenuse to short leg was easy. You just divide by 2, right? Right? Because if you multiply by 2 um, to get to the hypotenuse, you divide by 2 to undo it. Okay, 
So these three are the very easy ones. The only one that involved a little bit more math was going from the long leg to the short leg. Okay, so let's talk about that. Going from the long leg to the short leg. Okay, and what we need to do here is we need to divide by three. Okay, so we divide by three and then we multiply by root three. Okay, and we talked in class about why that is the case. Here on these videos, I'm just simply showing you how to do it quickly. We talked in class about why we're allowed to do these tricks, okay? So um, let's try an example, all right? So if I need to find x and y, okay? So I have the short leg, I need to find the long leg, and I need to find the hypotenuse. So if I have short leg, I want to go to long leg, let's look at what we had to do. Short leg to long leg was multiplied by root 3. Okay, so that's easy. So x is just going to equal 5 root 3. Three. No problems there. Okay? Now I want to get the hypotenuse. Okay, so I have the short leg. I want to go to the hypotenuse, so let's look at what I have to do. Short leg to hypotenuse is going to be multiplied by 2. Good. So y is going to equal 5 times 2, which is going to equal 10. So y equals 10. And you're done. Okay, so let's say for this one we know the hypotenuse because in the last one we knew the short leg. So I'm going to give you every possibility. So the first possibility was you know the short leg. Fine, the long leg and the hypotenuse. This is your second possibility. What if we know the hypotenuse and we need to find the short leg and the long leg? So we always want to go to the short leg first. So going from hypotenuse to short leg, we just divide by 2. So if it's 8, so sorry, we're going to find x and y here. So um, if it's 8, we just need to divide it by 2. So x is going to equal 8 divided by 2. So x is going to equal 4. And then to get y, if we know the short leg is 4, how do we go from short leg to long leg? Let's look. Short leg to long leg multiplied by root 3. So that means y is just going to equal 4 root 3. That's it. Okay, so this is always a fun one. We've now tried one where I gave you the short leg, one where I gave you the hypotenuse. Now, what if I give you the long leg? What if I give you the long leg and I ask you to find the short leg and the hypotenuse? So let's refresh our memories here. When we're given the long leg, we want to go to the short leg first. You always want to go to the short leg first, unless you're given the short leg, of course. Um, so long leg to short leg. Let's look. Divide by 3, multiply by root 3. Okay, so that means x is going to equal... 12 divided by 3, and then times root 3. Okay, so let's look. x is going to equal 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then times root 3, so 4 root 3. Good. Now, how do we go from short leg to hypotenuse? Well, we simply, look at this, multiply by 2, so that means y is going to equal 2 times 4 root 3, okay, which is just going to be 8 root 3. Okay, we talked about in class, remember that story about the kids and the cell phones and being grounded and the people outside the house hang out together, so it's 2 times 4, okay, which is 8. So y is 8 root 3. Okay, so there you go. So hopefully these will help you study for your test.